Now we're going to be starting to build the class, but we also need to focus on the directory structure and what each of these directories on the left mean. So you can download all of these files and directories uh, from the course download for this series. And we're going to run through them now just so we know exactly what we're looking at. So the first thing then is an index.php file. That's just what I'm in within my browser at the moment. And all this is doing is it's requiring in app bootstrap.php and that file at the moment is empty that's where we're going to be pulling in our composer dependencies and anything else we may need to do so very very basic structure here we also have this bin or binary directory and this is where our phantom js download is going to go so once you have these files and you've downloaded phantom js you can see i've got it here in my downloads folder I'm essentially just going to go ahead and put it inside of this binary directory and then we can use it to execute that command to take a snapshot of the web page. Now we also have an empty directory which is storage. This uh, is going to be where we save all of our temporary snapshots before we uh, show them or present them to a user, respond to that request and the user will download that PDF file and then what we'll do is just delete that temporary file. Now we also have this views directory. This just contains a uh, basic page. Uh, we're linking in Bootstrap here, um, Bootstrap Styles, which is a front-end framework. And we have just various uh, content in here, just dummy content. And you can see here that we've got these replace me uh, pieces of text. And that's where we're going to be injecting the variables in. So now that we've done this, let's now start to load in the class that we're going to be building inside of this app directory. Now I'm going to be using PSR4 auto loading, but if you don't want to do that, you can just build the class on its own and uh, we can go ahead and just require it in. But I would recommend doing this since you have Composer already, this makes things a lot easier. So let's create a new folder inside of app called code course. You can call this whatever you like. This is basically just your top level vendor namespace. And inside of here, I'm going to create a new folder called capture. And inside of here is going to be our class. So let's start to uh, define our class now. So I'm going to call this capture.php. And what we need to do is namespace this because we are PSR4 auto loading. So I'm going to namespace this under code course and capture. And the class name is capture. Of course, you can choose any name you want. It really doesn't matter. And you can place these anywhere you want as well. So let's just test this out by returning the text test from this test method and on index what we're going to be doing then is actually trying to use the class and then we can just get on with building this so inside of my terminal I'm currently within this PDF directory so all I want to do is dump my composer autoloader which will allow us to just create any new files we need to which we will be doing later and then that will automatically require everything in for us but first of all we need a composer file so let's go ahead and in the root directory, we're going to create composer.json. And inside of here, we're going to choose what we want to auto load in. If you're new to auto loading, just go ahead and follow along. This will make sense once we uh, get up and running. So we have the outer is auto load, and then we want to PSR4 auto load. We give the vendor namespace with a, forward, uh, with a backslash. We need to escape that backslash so we end up with two. And that's basically the folder here this this kind of top level name so whatever you call this folder you're going to call this so next is the location of this folder which is just app code course that's it so we are now loading in files once we dump our auto loader so whether you downloaded composer as a phar file it, this depends i have composer installed globally but if you don't you just need to run php composer.phar and then the commands that i'm going to write in a moment so I'm going to say composer, dump, auto load, and then I'm going to pass in the optimize flag. And what that's going to do is create this vendor folder. Now eventually all of our dependencies will end up here, but for now we have this auto load file. And now what this means is any file within this kind of directory structure, as long as it's properly namespaced, will be loaded into our project. So under our app bootstrap file, we're going to require in vendor autoload.php now if we go to our index.php file and we open up our browser 
nothing's gone wrong, so that's a good sign. But now what we're going to do is we're going to instantiate this capture class just to make sure everything's working. So all we need to do then is say capture equals new capture. Now, because this is namespace, we need to give the full path to this. You can either do this here like this, so code course capture capture, or you can uh, use a use statement. So we could go ahead and do that up there, but really in this case, let's just leave it like this. So now we can test this out by saying echo capture test. And remember we have this test method in here. We should now see test on here, perfect. So now that's done, we have got to grips with the directory structure. We have phantom.js in here for whichever operating system that we're working on. And we now have this capture class where we can start to implement all the functionality we need to generate our, uh, our PDF files. Now there's one more thing we need to do and that's utilize Twig because what we're gonna be doing is within this class, we need to actually render the page out and then take a snapshot of it. So let's focus on setting up Twig in the next part and then we can get on with building all of this.